What's up, guys? It's hey. Bolt, and I'm back with another Remnant from Hell video. And in today's video, we're gonna go over a brand new weapon called the Blood Tithe. Let's take a look at it. The mod is called Ensanguine. Creates a three meter sacrificial pool that spills nine health per second. Grants 3% life steal and increases damage dealt by 30%. Nearby allies share the burden but gain the full bonus. Lasts 24 seconds. So, what this essentially does is creates any build into a warlord armor. But warlord only buffs melee and range damage. Whereas while you're standing in this it will buff all your damage by 30%. And you get a huge 3% life steal on uh, all your damage dealt which is pretty insane so you could create a lot of different builds with this I'm gonna give you an example of a melee build and a range build and you could do all kinds of crazy stuff with this weapon it's very unique very fun and like it says there it's great for co-op as well as your uh, anybody who stands in the in the in the aura does get the, uh, the benefit of the mod so definitely great for co-op as well and the cool thing about this is that standing in the aura does do bleed damage to any enemy that's in there with you so anybody who's in there is going to be getting that bleed tick so it will go well with polished whetstone which i have equipped here so since it does damage standing in the aura it also protects you against ixalis's wisps and also dream eaters clones they'll walk into it and die immediately so let me explain this first build right here actually before i get into the build let's uh let's go over the amazing look of this weapon i love the the job that the guys did right harpy mad monk you guys did a great job designing this uh ori came up with the idea so shout out to ori very uh clever very genius idea and let's see how it shoots similar to the uh particle accelerator and it, if you notice as i continue firing the radical does get bigger and bigger increasing the spread so Spamming shots does uh, decrease your accuracy. And the mod looks as such. There goes your aura right here. Nice and red. Great visuals. They did a great job with this. And you see my health uh, drain at the bottom right. So, let's get into the build. So, the first build, this one is a melee build. We went with the Scrapper armor because we need the 15% damage uh, reduction that Scrapper does give so we're gonna pair that with the gore sword another hell mod weapon which i never showcased before and gore sword is extremely powerful man this thing hits so hard every attack uh charge uh counts as a charge attack on this guys so it does massive damage cool thing is though every time you swing the weapon you get the barbs of the beast uh special effect which gives you the mantle of horns ability for two seconds pretty insane and that's key for this build guys because we need to tank through hits not get staggered while we're uh, meleeing so we can heal simultaneously that's where uh the combo comes in and since we're bleeding with the blood tithe uh we will be activating polished whetstone and we're stacking our crit trinkets at the bottom right which are usually is usually the best way to go for melee sometimes melee speed uh but in this case we need um burst heals from the crits so we went straight all crit now instead of going with corrosion like uh you normally would we're going with the frozen spear to freeze the enemy and that is because two things number one obviously you guys know fully frozen enemies do receive 20 percent more crit damage but the main thing you need for this build is that you need slower attacks on the enemies so you could sustain the uh the hits so for example in this video i am fighting the harrow if i was fighting a full speed harrow i would not be able to tank enough hits in time he would just be too quick and i would die so i need the slower attacks in order to withstand and be able to heal through the attacks so you're basically just going to be swinging away get the aura down they're frozen i love the sound effects of the core sword too um just keep in mind you got to keep it's, it's a little bit of a high skill ceiling in, in, in with using this with weapon because you do need a little bit of situational awareness. You have to monitor your health at the bottom right and know when you will actually have to dodge and when you can just tank through. Uh, when you're going for the melee version, I do highly recommend that you have your Divine Nectar on and your Mud Tooth Potion for the health. So you want as much health and uh, damage resistance as you possibly can. And as you saw, see in the video, I do 
I am able to tank through uh, one Harrow attack um, pretty pretty easily. If he does the double, any attack that does two hits at all, he does one overhand swing, with, which it has two hitboxes that will kill you. Uh, another thing with the Frozen Spear, guys, don't forget, is that you can proc your Akari, Akari Warband by yourself. So if you're not dodging attacks, and um, because you're tanking through everything, you need to proc it. Again, you got to monitor that at the uh, bottom right uh, part of your screen. When you're ready to freeze the enemy, uh, throw another Frozen Spear at your boss. Uh, this. There you go. That's how you do it. You throw it right at them, switch weapons, dodge, and boom, you got your Akari Warband pop proc. As you can see at the bottom right corner, my Akari Warband is proc. And that is the melee version of this build. Let's get into the ranged version. All right, guys. This is an example of a ranged build using the Blood Tithe. We're going with the full Radiant here as Blood Tithe does shoot fast enough to gain Radiant stacks as well as model 45 it is semi-automatic but shoots quite quickly going with the mantis claw abrasive amulet combo now we're now we have our corrosion and we have our freeze so you're going to be dealing some solid damage here and then you're saying that a car war band hunter's band is great for weak spot bosses if you're fighting a non-weak spot boss although i do recommend you using a mod build against a non-weak spot boss use your burden of the gambler but here's an example right here you provide corrosion with the abrasive amulet and mantis claw Here's your aura right here, and you just fire, fire away. Make sure to use your frenzy dust to get the, the firing rate higher. And the cool thing about uh, using radiant with this is that it will decrease the recoil as you continue firing with the blood tide. Remember, it does uh, the spread does increase, so this will calm the recoil down a little bit. And then your model 45 here which is probably one of my favorite secondaries now to keep up with the stacks on Radiant. You can also use Osseus or uh, Hunter, whatever you want to use. Uh, this is just uh, the build that I use in the Ixalus fight, which is pretty awesome that you could actually beat the Ixalus DPS strike with this. So I thought that was really cool. You just have to remember to time your uh, Corrosions and your Ice Spears. So uh, again, a very versatile weapon, guys. You could even... Um, because since it increases all the damage by 30%, you could even have uh, some mod spam on your secondary. And anybody, and while you're in the aura, and just spam away. Maybe something like Blink Token or something that you could spam off with Labyrinth Set. You know, a lot of different ways you can go about using the Blood Tithe. So fun to use, so it's such a unique weapon. And um, yeah, again, man, Ori, very clever coming up with it. These guys at the uh, on the Hell Mod are just working very hard, bringing a lot of cool stuff. So, man, really appreciate those guys. So, if you guys enjoy this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment. All that good stuff really helps me out. If you haven't downloaded the Hell Mod yet, there is a link in the description along with patch notes. So, go check that out. More, be more uh, on the lookout for more videos. There's still some new weapons from the last update that I haven't gotten into and I'm really looking forward to showing you guys that but until then catch everyone yes on the next one